Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a product that Allison found. Okay, I know it looks like milk. And what's the most expensive gift that you ever received from a family member? Let us know. Boom. Okay. So Allison, tell us a little bit about fat milk and how you came across the product. Okay. Well, like, Fat Milk is a coffee company, if you believe it. Um, I love looking at food and products on Instagram, and I was trying to find a... Actually, no, I take that back. I was trying to find a good Vietnamese coffee recipe, mm -hmm. because I've had some amazing Vietnamese coffee dishes before. And typing in Google, this actually came up. They are a semi-local to us. They're in Chicago. Um, based out of Chicago, they are a local coffee grinder, basically. They're, they source all of their beans from Vietnam. Like, it even says on here. Um, I'm going to not even try to pronounce the province or the location. Don't butcher it. I'm not even going to. But it just says, our beans are ethically sourced directly from this province in Vietnam where they are grown, processed, and hand-picked by local farmers. So, I love this. Like, the box is so fun to me. Can't tell me it didn't throw you off when yeah, we the mail. It didn't throw me off, but I do like the box. I love the packaging. I love that how every side of the packaging has something that's unique to either the people who grew the coffee or the company in general. I love that. And so, to give you guys an example, this is the... Red Rose, and I'm going to try to say the name of it in Vietnamese. But what I love about this, what does that tell you down there? It just tells you basically light the dark. It tells you, you know. So this is a dark rose. Yeah, which is interesting. It tells you the recommended grind mm -hmm. as well. Because, yeah, if you are looking for recommendations. And then on the top here, this tells you whether or not you can get ground or whole. You can get holding this too. So we're going to play test for a minute. And you're going to want to stay tuned. Product. <laughs> you are going to want to stay tuned because we're going to rate this at the very end of the video and give you our honest feedback. Yep. But first, tell me about this gift, expensive gift. The most expensive gift you ever bought me was like $50. I'm kidding. Mm, I was like $50. <laughs> like, pff, yeah, please. But anyways, I came across this article this morning about a woman who received a two million dollar lottery ticket from a family friend so how how would you feel if you pay twenty dollars or yeah how would you feel if you pay twenty dollars in a scratch off and you gave it to somebody that you may or may not necessarily cared about and they won two million dollars <laughs> so this happened to somebody a woman in actually north carolina uh, you know she gifted you know i'm not sure if it was her birthday but she gave somebody a 20 dollars scratch off and she turned around and won two million dollars the person she gave it to so that is very interesting. That's a great gift. You have a friend for life. Hopefully they had a great relationship. Be because what happened if you gave that to someone that you really necessarily didn't care about and they won all that money? <laughs> I'd be a little upset. Yeah, you would be a little bit upset. But yeah, that was a definitely a funny story. Now Wait, really quick. Yeah. So it was two million. And took a lump sum. Mm -hmm. It was $1.2 gotta pay Uncle Sam. Pay Uncle yep, Sam. yep. <laughs> but my question to you at this point is yeah. and the question I'm gonna to pose to everybody there, do you know someone in your family that buys and plays scratch offs 
Yep. And if you do, let us know in the comment section below. I'm talking about Yeah, I'm talking about that person that spends thirty or forty dollars, maybe even a hundred dollars on scratch off tickets and they never it and talks about it and then they never win. Let us know. We definitely want to find out. Now it's time for a live drinking session of milk. Let's get to it. Disclaimer. He is drinking, which you can hard to see because he's going to spill it if he doesn't. That is a three ounce cup, a three ounce portion of straight black coffee. So he has no flavoring, no nothing. He's making a mess. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so now Allison, she's drinking an Americanized version of a 30 ounce cup of coffee with milk, cream, sugar, heart attack, and diabetes. <laughs> that is what she's drinking. She, what else? What else in there? Some caramel. What else? <laughs> no, guys. Mine is also three ounces of coffee. I have two ounces of steamed ripple milk, which is pea protein. We will maybe talk about that in another video. You'll like that. And a tablespoon of vanilla. And about twenty ounces of other. No, no other. No other. Okay. So I just add a little bit of vanilla flavoring and some milk, but the milk is unflavored, unsweetened, so it doesn't add anything. So I can still taste the coffee pretty well through it. So we're gonna go ahead and start sipping on some coffee. Let's get to it. For that review. Oh, gone. We might be here for a few minutes waiting on Allison to drink her, her drink. Actually, no, I'm good because, uh, unlike somebody over here, when we get coffee, whether I make it at the house or if we go out someplace to get coffee, his drink, usually the 12 ounce drink, is gone in about five minutes. And usually Allison babysits her drink for, for the hour. whole. No, you babysitting longer than that. You babysitting for about four or five hours. The the baby just grown up. The baby just grown up. Somebody just needs to drink that Somebody's not telling the truth. Anyways, you pick this product. Let us know about it. What do you think, honey? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Oh, did you taste the tannins across your fine palate? Did I taste the notes of roasted coffee? <laughs> Guys, I mean, that's what it says on here. So this is supposed to yield hints of roasted cashews and dark milk chocolate. It's supposed to be smooth, smooth, bold, and fearless, much like our strength when we stand together. It says, at Fat Milk, we not only honor and celebrate our traditions with others near and far, but we always go beyond the drip. And I think that's kind of a cool phrase, beyond the drip. Matches their company. Mm. Sorry. Anyway. Squirrel. <laughs> so, no. I don't taste the cashews, but I do taste the hints of the chocolate. But did you like it? Yeah. Was it worth the $23 that we spent on it with shipping? Sixteen ninety nine. Yep. Give or take, I think it's seventeen thirty nine actually. Six dollars for shipping. Six dollars flat for shipping. You can buy multiples, and it's still gonna be six dollars flat for shipping. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so it came up to twenty three ninety nine is what we paid to have that shipped to St. Louis. Um, yeah, I like it. It's 
out of all the coffees that we've kind of purchased over the last several weeks and months, I definitely like the smoothness to it. I like how it is a dark roast, so it's got that boldness and that kind of flavor profile that kind of punches you, but it's still very smooth. And yeah, I can, like I said, I can't taste the cashew, but I can kind of taste the chocolate. So as the black coffee drinker, the one that's getting a straight up shot of coffee, what do you think? Um, I love the company. I love the branding of the packaging. Um, my favorite part about the coffee is I love that the fact they tell a story within their brand. Um, that so that that's really intriguing to me as far as how the coffee tastes. It does taste well. You know, I'm a three ounce, the six ounce drinker, so it's definitely you know a strong coffee. I would purchase it again, and I don't have a problem whatsoever with the pricing. So. Um, Pricing, I thought, was right on par. Yep. Um, we're showing you the container, and I didn't even show you the actual bag that it came in inside. Um, but they have three traditional flavors, just to give you guys some background. And then they usually have a specialty blend. Right now, I think it's called Humility, and it's in, like, a black mm. packaging. Mm. Um, but I'm actually interested in trying. They have a blue roast, a yellow roast, and a red roast. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're definitely going to have to try some of the other ones to see how their dark roast versus their light roast compares. Okay. So I definitely give this company brand product of five out of five. Same, same, same. Five out of five. Absolutely. Love the product. Love the company. Love the story behind it. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to try the rest of them. Yep. So that was the other review. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, um, if you have any other products that you want us to check out, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to tell us about your scratch off family member. Indeed. All right, guys. Thanks for listening and watching, and we'll check you out later. See you next time.